All right, so today we have the R16 match of the WRC competition. And in this match, we have 1A522R. And we're going to look at how they get defended here in this match on the wall stakes. This is actually a pretty close match, I think. And I think Blue only yeah. lost because of them touching those rings at the very end. And I'm um, interesting to see here with Blue with their... They're doing here. I think they're going for. I think the code here was trying to get those out of the corner, which is really, really good. I, I really like that, you know, getting the corner. But red really destroys auto here, <laughs> almost hitting a full goal. They have, I think that's five out of six on that on that red goal in the far corner. Yeah, the only thing would be like they they probably should have gone for the alliance stake just because that's three more points rather than getting the extra ring on the goal. Yeah, nobody really contested for that that middle goal, and I mean blue, taking advantage of that opportunity at the very start, yeah, jolting I mean, to that goal, and now blue has you know they have control over like all three goals, but they aren't really gonna prioritize on keeping this one safe. I think red can very easily take control of this one, and that's exactly what one eight five two two R does here. They take that goal away from blue, and start stacking up red on that originally blue goal. I mean, yeah, now, very that. quickly, yeah. differential is made, and you know, Red has taken over that goal. And they're starting to score on, wall, on walls, and we're going to see Blue really fight back here. As they see, 1852 are going for that, that neutral stake. They push him off, and there's just a lot of defense being played. Once again, just not letting them even get close. And the other Red goal gets knocked over in this time. You know, blue going in and <laughs> using their their doinker mech to pull that goal you know to and the four yeah good play by them so i mean this is uh, i think they're the first seed the red team so this is you know quite a tough situation they're in although although they did win auto right blue is starting to take control back of those you know those wall stakes and i think they're playing against one of the lower seeds here definitely so I mean, it's good seeing that, you know, and the other blue team also finds an opening and takes control of the other wall stake. Now blue has control of both wall stakes and red actually doesn't really have a big goal advantage because the other goal is flipped over. And as uh, 7925S tries to flip that goal back over, blue, you know, pushes over to apply more pressure and forces red to back off. So I, mean, I don't think they'll be getting that goal back over. And, oh, no, never mind. I take back what I, what I said. They do get that back goal back over in time. Pretty lucky. And blue goes for another D-score, but they don't get it off. And there is a pin in the corner there. I think this match really shows the importance of, you know, defense against a, a really good team at wall stakes. And also just you know, coordination between two teams because... This was really a 1v2, and if both red teams here were pretty good at wall stakes, like 1852R is, then blue definitely wouldn't have stood a chance. But it being a 1v2, red really gave blue a lot of opportunities here to, I mean, not really outplay 22R uh, here, but, you know, just because one robot is never going to be able to, you know, match the uh, ability for two robots to you know, be on the field and take yeah, field control. I'm gonna Something else I'd say is if you go back a little bit when they're playing or when they're, to where they're going playing defense on the wall stake, you see the, the blue team's helping out there, but the red team sh will, would be able to actually put pressure on the blue robot without giving up their corner because they can immediately back up into it. You see, <clears throat> the way blue's playing it, they're always making sure their back is right towards the, the positive corner so that way they can immediately go back and protect that zone so they won't lose it. Uh, while also playing defense so they can't go into that point deficit with the, the, the wall stakes, which you see they do very well there. Uh, it's just something uh, you you can't just sit in the corner. You're going to need to play an active role in the game if you want to keep up with the points. Yeah, and further on throughout this tournament, I think that might be why uh, the Red Lions here loses actually in the finals is might be because their teammates just wasn't uh, contributing as much and just sitting in the corner this is really a two, a two team game, right? Where you really want to have both the robots actually performing those tasks towards the higher level of competitions because just how, I mean, if you give your opponents a 2v1, then they're really going to take that advantage and use it. Absolutely. Okay, good match.